Let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about exponents. When we read this exponent, what we say is we say 3 to the 4th. And then so what we do is we start with this number right here, 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th, or some people will say 3 to the 4th power. What is it that you think you say for this one here? We're going to start with the 2 first or the 5 first? That's correct. We'll go ahead and start with the 2. And we'll say 2 to the what? 2 to the 2 to the 5th to the 5th power. And so I've written that out there for us. That's 2 to the 5th power. So we had 3 to the 4th power or 2 to the 5th power. Let me show you a few more examples and you try. All right, for the first one we have right here, we have 2 to what? 2 to the 4th power. Say that again. 2 to the 4th power. Go ahead and put this one together for yourself. Five to the third power. Another way to say that is five cubed. Five cubed. If we say this is five and we say this is cubed, what do you think we say for this two here? Six. We can call it six squared. We call it six squared. So for this here, when this is what we call the exponent, when the exponent is three, we say cubed. And when the exponent is 2, we're going to go ahead and say squared. I'll write those up for you, and then we'll say them again. All right, here we go. Again, this one was 2 to the 4th. And then so these two down here, these are special in that we can say something else besides 5 to the 3rd. We can also say 5 cubed. And for this one here, what can we say again? Correct, 6 squared. So what does this really mean? Let's take a look. So what this means is 2 to the 4th. We had just read 2 to the 4th. And what this means is we're going to go ahead and multiply 2 together 4 times. So we go 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Please do not make that common mistake. Common mistake, students will want to just multiply the 2 with the 4. That is not what you do for exponents. When you say 2 to the 4th power, what you're doing, hey, it's 2 to the 4th power. That's why there's 1, 2, 3, and 4 twos there. There's 4 twos there. How many 5s would there be with this here? How many 5s would that be there with that there? Are we going to go 5 times 2? Or will we go 5 times 5 times 5, correct. I'll go ahead and write that out for you. For the final one here, we've got 3 to the 4th power, 3 to the 4th power. And so 3 to the 4th power, again, don't make that most common mistake. We're going to go 3 times what? 3. Are we done? Hope you said no, because we're going to go to the 4th power here. If we're going to the 4th power here, we're going to have to write another 3 and a, another 3. Let's read these back again before we go on. 3 to the 4th is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That was 3 how many times? 4 times. we well, got 5 right here. How many times? 2 times. That's why there's 1 and 2 here. 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5. On the next one, we're going to go ahead and evaluate this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right here. 5 squared is equal to 25. See if you can do this in your head before we get to the next screen. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 was. Times 2 again was. Times 2 again. That means 2 to the 4th is equal to 16, correct. I'm going to go ahead and give you some more terminology, some more vocabulary. What we call this right here is we call this our base. And what we call this right here is we call this our exponent. We call, again, this is our base, and this is our exponent. And so when we're talking about exponents, and that's why this is an exponent lesson, this 5 right here is our base, and this 3 is our exponent. What's the exponent here? Hopefully you were looking at this and just thinking, hey, 6 squared. 
or 6 to the second power. What's our exponent? Hopefully you said, was it this, this, or this? Hopefully you said 2 is our exponent. And our exponent here is correct. And then so what this means is that we're taking this base and we're multiplying it together this many times. And that's where our exponent comes into play here. Let me write these out for you, and then we'll take a look at this again. We take a look at that first one right there. That's 5 cubed. 5 multiplied together 5... 3 times. Sorry about that. And then we got 6 squared right here. 6 multiplied together how many times? Twice. That's correct. That's 6 times 6, and we got 3. How many times we get that right out? 3? That's what our exponent tells us. So we've got 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3. If we evaluated these 5 cubed, which is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, what I like to do is to multiply two of these first here. So we got 5 times 5 equaling 25. And if we multiply it by 5 again, what we end up getting is what we end up getting, we end up getting what? 125. So if we read it all together again, we've got what again? 5 cubed, or 5 to the third power, equaling 125. Say it again, however it is they want to say this. See, if you put this together, go ahead and evaluate this first for yourself in your head. Let's read this. Do we read the exponent first, or do we read the base first? Let's go ahead and read the base first. That's 6. 6 squared equaling 36, and I'll write that in for you. Take a moment to look at that last one for yourself. See if you can evaluate this here. Remember, this was 3. And that was our, was that our base or our exponent. And this was to the... You evaluate for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and label these here. That again there is our base. And the 5 is our exponent, is our exponent. When you evaluate all of those, let me do it in my head really quick. We got 243. Did you get 243 for your answer? You want to prove the teacher wrong? Way to go. This is time for you to try. I want you to go ahead and write these down. When you're writing these, let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to go ahead and write our base first, and then we'll write our exponents. When you notice we put our exponents, we put it a little bit up higher here. And it's even a little bit smaller as well. And again, this was 5 to the 4th power. Go ahead and write that for yourself first. Write all these out for yourself first. And then what you're going to do after you write them out is that you're going to go ahead and write them out completely. You'll write them out completely. And then you'll go ahead and evaluate them. You will solve them so you get one single number. You get one single number. So ideally you said 5 to the 4th, and you're going to figure out what that one number is. Again, this is time for you to try, for you to try. And then so you're writing these down, and then you're trying. So you're going to go ahead and evaluate as to what 5 to the 4th is, what 6 to the 3rd is, or 6 cubed is, and what 2 to the 3rd power is right now. Go ahead and pause the video right here while you figure that out. Waiting for you to pause. And here we go. Here we go. Take away that pause right there. And what we're going to go ahead and do, our deal for you for that first one, you ended up getting 5 to the 4th. That's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which you evaluated to what? 675 is correct. What I would have done is I would have taken 5 times 5 to make it 25 here, times 5 again to make it 125, times 5 again to make it 675. I'm going to move that back out there out of my way. Oops. Well, I guess I can go ahead and write that back on in. And I'm going to take a new page for the other two tries, which was 6 cubed and 2 cubed. All right, here we go. So we've got 6 cubed in here, and we've got 2 cubed. First, so 6 cubed, we're going to go ahead and multiply 6. Remember, that's our base with our exponent. Do we just go 6 times 3? 
Uh, don't make that common mistake. Again, that's six times, six times, six. So we'll take these two sixes first. Six times six is 36, correct, times the six again, which is, let's see, let's see, 30 times six already was 180. Six times six is 36. 180 put together with that 36 is 216. This one I think you can do in your head. That's two cubed, two times two times two, which equals, correct, eight. All right, we've come to the final portion of this video today, and this portion is going to be your test, your test. Go ahead and read these numbers. Read these numbers with exponents. This is what? I would have accepted 3 squared or 3 to the second power. How about this one right here? That's what? I would have accepted 5 cubed or 5 to the third power. How about this last one right here? 4 to the? Fifth. Now, I'm going to go ahead and point at some numbers here. You tell me whether they are bases or whether they are exponents. This here is a exponent, correct. Base. Exponent. Base. What if I pointed at the whole thing? I would say that it is a base with an exponent. And what does this mean, though? Read that again. That is 4 to the what? 5th. What does this really mean, though? 3 squared. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What do we do? Do we multiply 3 times 2 or do we multiply 3 times 3? Ideally, you said 3 times 3. Correct. 5 cubed is equal to 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is already 25. Times 5 again is... 125 is correct. Read the whole thing for me one last time for your test. 5 what? 5 cubed is equal to 125, or 5 to the third power is equal to 125. 4 to the fifth? How many times are we multiplying together? 4? 5 times, 5 times. So we got 4 times, 4 times, 4 times. I'm running out of room here. 4 times, 4 again. 4 times 4 is already 16. 4 times 4 is, times 4 again is 64. And then if we multiply it by another 4, let's see, that is 256. And we multiply it by another 4. Well, 256 times 4, 512. You'll have to trust me on this one. That's 1,024. That wasn't part of your test. Your bigger test was to know and to know that this is read what? 4 to the 5th, which is 4 times 4 times 4, times 4 times 4, and then if you know how to evaluate and how to multiply, that's 1,024. Again, this is, tells you to what power 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, or 5 cubed is equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 125.